Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday the 25th of May, which is the 17th of ER. Sorry again, my NCSY backdrop is not here behind me. It's uh, away at an NCSY event. We'll try and get it back real soon. Um, more Halachas on Havdalah for you now. When you want to say the bracha of Borei Ma'orei Ha'esh at Havdalah, it's best if you're close enough to the candle that you can actually benefit from the light. If you're like 100 feet away at a giant Havdalah and you're not getting benefit from the light of the candle, then that's a bit of a problem because you need to be close enough to be getting benefit from the light of the candle. I have seen at some yeshivas where they actually... It's a very big crowd, and not everyone could get benefit from the light of the candle. So they have like different stations set up throughout the base Hamedrash, where there are it's like a candle here with twenty guys around it, another candle over there with twenty guys. You might want to consider that uh, if you're in a big crowd situation. Now, officially, the Gemara called it enough light so that you could discern between two coins. In other words, the candle is giving you enough light that you could hold a penny and a dime in your hand and know which one's the penny and which one's the dime. If you're too far away and you can't benefit from the light of the candle, it really would be appropriate for you to come closer. What we do nowadays, instead of coins, is we look at our nails and we are discerning in looking at our nails between the look of a nail and the look of the flesh of our skin. That's why people are looking at their nails, so that there's some discernment, if that's how you say that word, um, uh, benefiting from the light in a way that I could, this is this is light, because I could see the difference between a nail and a finger at this point. That's what we do. Some say the bracha, some, some look at their fingers before the bracha is recited, and some look at their fingernails after the bracha is recited. Rav Moshe used to do the looking after the bracha is recited, and this seems to be pretty much the way the custom is for all people now today. Do you have to turn off the lights in the room for the Boreme Ore Ha'esh? Some do and some don't. You don't really have to. Uh, of course, what it does is it helps so that everybody is more, for sure, benefiting from the light of the candle because if you're too far away in the room and the room is all lit up, then the lights of the room are what you're benefiting from and not necessarily the light of the candle. If you're far away and you don't have two different stations, it's probably best to turn off the lights so that it's pretty dark and everyone who's looking at their nails is only getting the light of the candle and not the light of the room because the lights of the room are turned off. That's what you should do if it's a big crowd and you only have one station. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.